This is my 220 gallon saltwater aquarium. And what I want to do is show the filter system that I have using an algae scrubber on it. So it's a mixed reef, has a lot of coral in it that within just the last year or so has really grown four or five times probably what it was. There are still a few spots of algae, but when this started it was almost completely overgrown with algae. Big long four or five inch long streamers just covering everything. So it's relatively algae free. I still got it just a little bit on the glass. And I'll explain probably what the cause of that is that I can fix. <clears throat> so starting last February I put in this algae scrubber. Uh, today's end of January 2014, so this would have been February of 2013. Basically the way it works is it's running off a 550 gallon per hour, kind of a relatively small pump. It comes up, runs down pipe, and then drips down. And then it has lights on each side, which are the lights that we now have for sale. And then there's two more of those bars over on that side. Grows the algae on the screen. As the water runs over it and the light. And then the water exits either out of this bottom valve that has a gate valve on it so it can be closed in small increments. And then there's a safety overflow right there in case that one ever did get plugged, which has happened before. You can see from pulling up that screen like I did just now, it broke free some of the algae because it's been, I think, 11 days since I've cleaned it, so it's due. That's what you don't want is you don't want the algae to start breaking off and floating around just because it's messy. And then I just have this screen here, and this is just a safety screen to catch things like this so they don't go back up into the display tank. It just comes out easy and washes off. This also keep anything from getting sucked into the, the, the pump over there. Got a few fish come down the overflow. And I just got two little bags of carbon here that I change out every month or two. Two little feeders that will dispense some flake food when needed, and then a reservoir for clean water, RO, that goes into a small, come over here, a small calc reactor, puts the calcium into the water, and then drips in. And I got this feeder, little refrigerator unit with a dosing pump in there. Right now I'm going through, about every three months I'll go through one of the, uh, the roti and then the oyster feast. And I'm going through the myasis about one of these a month. That's what's feeding the fish. So I really don't do any maintenance on this other than every two weeks, change out 10 gallons of water. Just make sure this stays with some of the cockwasser in the bottom. Make sure the food is in that and that's about it. I'm mean, feeding an eel once a week. So very low maintenance. You don't really even need to do the water changes. I just do those because they help by some of the minerals. But as far as filters go, I used to have three different reactors in here, a giant protein skimmer, filter socks that had to be changed out and washed. Now I have nothing. Everything has been a lot healthier. I haven't had any fish or coral die in the last year and everything's been growing. Uh, my lights right now are just set on this little timer that run the, the lights on the scrubber and looks like we're on 12 hours, off 12 hours. So I'm running 12 hours and you can see the, the lights are maybe 3 inches away from the screen. Um, I painted this all black so the light doesn't escape, but there is a window that I masked off where this is just the clear right here. The light obviously has to shine through that plexiglass. These are waterproof. This connection obviously is not waterproof. 
but these are, so you don't have to worry about water splashing or dripping. It's made out of aluminum, they've got their own heat sink in them. Uh, you don't want to completely probably enclose it because then it would build up heat. This way the heat can still escape out the ends, but these reflectors just keep the light off of the sump. Because if that light gets out in here, all of this will then start to grow uh, some of the kind of slimy brown algae on it, which is kind of a mess. So to clean it off, all I do is unplug this, which powers that little pump, undo this bulkhead. And then it lifts out. Like I said, this is about 10 weeks of growth. If I were to do this differently for this tank, I'd either maybe do a little bit bigger or split this screen in half so that I can take one side off every probably five to six days, and that way it would leave one side always growing. This algae is going to be the most efficient at keeping algae out of the display tank as well as acting as a filter when it's a certain length. And so once you scrape this off and you're down to stubble, it then takes a few days to kind of grow and get enough algae again that it's going to start doing a good job. So by having half and half, we don't let it grow. But I mean, this is this is a typical growth for about a week, week and a half. The way I designed this is these just are some piece of pipe. And if I turn them so they align, they're in there, then the screen slides right out. I usually do this over the sink, not over the sump. I'm gonna take a toothbrush and I'll just lightly clean this out. These are just some duct tape reflectors that they channel the water so it doesn't splash out. This way all the water runs down the screen. Easy to clean that and just scrape all this off back in. So hopefully that helps at least see how this design has worked. It's worked very well and saved quite a bit of money on all of the other filter that I don't have to have. Not to mention that I now have just an open system where the food that gets dosed in is constantly staying in the water, cycling around and the coral and fish are able to continually eat and stay healthy. So that's it.